I just want to welcome everybody to the Tyler Cover Bookstore. So thanks for coming out today. Just want to welcome John Moore, um, arts journalist who's been leading this discussion here for a while, and also former critic for the Denver Post. So please help me in welcoming him and everybody else. Thank you. Thanks, my name is Benjamin Bonifant, and in Benediction I play Ronald Dean Walker. I'm Leslie O'Carroll, and I play Berta May. And I'm James Newcomb, and I play Rudy. Tell people the significance of you being back in this building. Well, I spent a significant amount of time when I was growing up in this building when it was the Bonfils Theater. My mother, Bev Newcomb, uh, was the resident director uh, at the Bonfils Theater for the better part of 15 years, 15, 20 years. Um, so my sisters and I and my father and my mother uh, all did plays here. It was, we were like the five foys of Denver. <laughs> <laughs> now, but tell us again, what year did you graduate from the NTC? I think it was 89. 1989. Okay, okay Benjamin. How, how old were you in 1989? <laughs> uh, which month? <laughs> <laughs> The death of Kent Harriff has to have colored the production process. How would you describe Kent Harriff's sort of continuing presence in this the, the development of Benediction? I think we all feel, uh, at least those of us who have done the other two, that we really want to do it justice. The quality of Kent's writing, you know, is about the precious ordinary. It's very Thornton Wilder esque. It's um, and about uh, the preciousness of time and how fleeting time is and in an interesting context in the eastern plains of Colorado which you would and I did when I was younger considered one of the more boring places on the planet <laughs> um, the time really took you know a long time to pass out there but it really doesn't as you know it goes very very quickly in all his books, the themes are really about family and about uh, new families. That we don't live in an era where you know it's just a nuclear family anymore. It, your family could be two old men with a 17-year-old girl and a new baby. That's a new family unit. You have the story of a man who's coming to terms with his life and reconnecting with everybody in the community on his way out. At the same time, you have a new family that's just moved to town, a pastor and his wife and teenage son. And uh, they're, they're kind of leaving Denver after a falling out with the church that he was uh, a minister with there. And, uh, and then on top of that, you have this very young girl in the town, an eight-year-old girl who's now living with her grandmother, uh, played by Leslie. And you, you get to see over the course of the play how all of the, you know, three, three generations of older women and men in the community kind of glom onto her and become her, her new family. You have new life, a big dynamic shift in life, and end of life story all simultaneously taking place. Doing this play and working uh, in this material and being back home, I, the epiphany that I had is I have a new understanding of my place, where I come from. That even though I grew up in Denver and I grew up on East 6th Avenue on Dahlia Street for the most part, um, that, that I'm a plainsman, that I live on the plains, that I'm from the plains, and that is a distinct place which I did not really have an appreciation for. And certainly Kent Haroff is a singular voice in literature for what that means to live on the plains. And the fact that you can have a show like this that's three hours long, people constantly come up to us after the show and say that it whizzed along and that they were just taken, for, even though it's episodic, they're taken from each scene to each scene to each scene um, in an in a almost propulsive kind of way. And I think part of that could also have to do with the stages of life that are all being represented. I actually would argue that Benediction is too short. <laughs> as long as it is. And that's why I argue, and I've been trying to talk Eric and several of us, Larry Heck as well, been trying to talk Eric into proposing uh, maybe writing a treatment for HBO or Showtime so that they could do a mini-series and really give it the yeah. due that the books sort of demand.
Join us for our next free Page to Stage event at noon on Tuesday, March 24th at the Tattered Cover Bookstore at 2526 East Colfax Avenue. We'll be talking about the newly announced Broadway touring season with DCPA Broadway Executive Director John Eckeberg. In the meantime, visit us at our news center at www.mydenvercenter.org.